What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Going to bring you Jessica by the Allman Brothers. Uh, just such an iconic jam. Literally jam. Uh, also, thanks for supporting Marty Music, you guys. Uh, I've got some free courses for you. The first comment will take you right there, and I really appreciate that extra support. But let's learn this one right now. Here we go. All right. There's a lot to learn, so I'm going to give you all the, you know, the best stuff so you can play the whole song. I'm going to start with an A chord with the index finger across. And we keep that there, and the second chord of the rhythm is a D chord, but we're gonna play this D inversion. So ring finger goes to the fourth of the D, middle finger goes to the third of the B. Now we have to add this little nudge down, this little bluesy third fret low E to that A chord. And here's what I mean. So there's a piano thing that's going on that I just want to point out because I saw Dickie Betts use part of this live. So really it's more that piano in the recording, but it would be zero on the E, so open E, second fret, into the chord. Just to point it out, you could arrange that a certain way, but the main acoustic guitar on the original studio recording Now, check this out. This A major arpeggio up here comes from the D shape. D, E, F, G, A. See that? We're going to use individual fingers, but if you can see it, it helps, and it's a cool arpeggio that can be used in, in a very versatile way. So index on the 9 of the G, middle on the 10 of the B, and then 9 on the high E with the index. And then 10 on the high E, and then we're going to bend that up a whole step to this note. Then it comes back down, so 10 natural. Then back down that arpeggio. So nine, and then 10 of the B, and then nine of the G.
And then on that G string, seven, six, seven, nine. Up. So. And it ends right where you start again for the second phrase. So that second phrase, and we'll go back to the first one in a second, the second phrase goes, so it's the same arpeggio, but just different rhythm. Nine, ten, nine, ten, nine, ten, nine, seven. Again. And then six, seven, nine, to the root, an A note, which is seven of the D now. All right? So from the top. Second phrase. First phrase. Second phrase. turn. <laughs> so anyway, we're, we're leading up to that. I know there's, you know, like I said, there's a lot to cover, but we, we made it through this. And now we need to get this. Now I'm playing the most like what I could hear as the strongest notes in that, it's a it's a three, four part thing going on there with two guitars and piano harmonizing. So I'm gonna just teach you that one line that I think sticks out. So we're we've got the uh, six and seven on the G, starts on six. So six, seven, six, seven, seven. Now up to five, seven, five, hammer on to seven, and then five of the B. Then, on the high E, hammer on from five to seven, pull off, back on, then up to nine, and then ten nine, right in to the melody, but we, because of that line, we skip the first note of the melody and it goes, So from this, so what happens is later on after this now, instead of Instead of, 
It's... Which you can do at any time, but it, it builds later. When I've seen them live, they're doing it right off the top. But it's basically... And then a trill. from the top. Now the funky intro melody. Back to the. Now we can embellish a little bit. First line again. And then eventually, you'll hear later too. And they do it a little different, but you basically just got this. And it's just a little quick little trill to the 11 of that G with your index arrow. Just adds later, and then now back to that second melody. Now what I do is, once I've finished that, I switch hand positions. He might stay here. This is how I learned it by ear and watched them live a bit. So I put my pinky now on the seven of the D. And basically what we're doing now is we're, we're in this kind of, you know, kind of pentatonic-y, you know, root on the E string position, but it, it sometimes it's uh, what's called Dorian. And then sometimes it's Mixolydian. So it's okay if you don't know those modes, but if you do, it, it's actually switching in this little spot right here. So check it out. So it starts on the, this is from A Dorian. So seven on the D and then four, five, four. And then I slide from five to seven. You can use your index. It's probably better to use your index because then you go seven, nine, uh, six. And that's where it changes scales. And then seven on the D, seven on the A. Check it out. Or. So you have to hit seven again. And I usually switch my fingers here in between. But it's going to be up to you. But it's seven on the, e, on the A. Four, five, five on the D. Five, seven, four. That's a really great little bluesy thing. So it's seven, five, slide into four from three, and then seven on the D.
So that next line, straight from A Dorian, and it starts on the four of the D string. So four, five, seven, four on the G. Five, and then quickly back to seven on the D. And then that four on the G. And then that melody is the same. So we're almost there. Now check this out. So you can go seven, nine, da, nine, six, but in instead of just seven, nine, six, it's a little trill between the nine and the six. So seven, nine, plant that six and trill it. Like you barely hear it. So. So then, now we have to do this climb up. Uh, six, seven, nine, seven on the B, eight, ten, twelve, ten on the high E, and then, so we grab the twelve of the high E, whole step and back. Seven, eight, ten, twelve, ten, twelve. Uh. Okay, from the top. Funky intro thing. Embellishing. Next part, switch. all the same but with the embellishing stuff uh 
友。So there's a little, you know, there's, there's a lot to the song, but you're doing great so far. Let me let me talk about the chords underneath a couple things, right? When it goes, it's just a da 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 a a a d d d d d d d. You know, it's just. You know, it's just a and d. And then that's G to A. G, G, G. Then the A, A. G, 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 A, 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 G, V. Can't sing that high. A, A. All right. Now we're getting through it. And that's all, you know, that's that, that's what's going on underneath the main part. So. So it does that and it's like triple, uh, da, da, da. into a Dorian run again. So this little arpeggio, it's just one note each down to the uh, sixth fret. And then, so uh, seven, six, seven, nine, seven, six. And then I'm going to, at some point, you have to do a finger change into the Dorian scale. And it's just where I'm used to it. He might stay here. It's the same notes. So now I have pinky on seven of the D. And I'm going to go up the Dorian scale, which would be... And then on the G, four, five, seven. And then on the B, five, seven, eight. Same thing on the high E, five, seven, eight, ten. And then 12 slid up to 15 to 12. And then, then we're just in the jam zone from there, so. To the intro, and then the piano solo. There's a cool little blues lick using that major six, give a little, uh,